Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ebony and I'm Erica. And for today's video, we are giving you the five best vitamins for hair growth. And I know on our channel, we give a lot of hair growth tips. And um, a lot of y'all say that, you know, some stuff doesn't work for you. And we understand that not everything is gonna work for everybody, which is what we love about our channel is that we like to give options. Um, we give a lot of videos with the different hair growth tips because we understand that not everything works for everybody. So this video is for those who may be experiencing a vitamin deficiency as a reason for their lack of hair growth. And we talk about hair vitamins a lot on this channel. We actually take them, she takes the gummies, I take the liquid ones from Curls. So um, a lot of the vitamins that we're gonna cover in this video is actually included in a lot of the hair vitamin gummies. Yeah, but you may be experiencing a deficiency in a specific vitamin and we'll need like a higher concentration of that vitamin to uh, see results for hair growth. So we're gonna let you know how each vitamin works to achieve hair growth, so let's get started. All right, so the first vitamin we're gonna talk about is the one that you guys are all familiar with, and that's the B vitamin. And it is said that B vitamin is the best for hair growth, but the top three B vitamins that we're just gonna cover really quick under like the whole B vitamin umbrella is biotin, niacin, and pantothenic acid. All right, so biotin, which is a B7 vitamin, you guys have heard of bi biotin before, it's in all the hair growth vitamins, mm -hmm. but it is known for hair growth, obviously, but it is also known for strengthening the hair and um, increasing the hair's elasticity. All right, next is niacin, which is a B3 vitamin, and you may have heard niacin being used in skincare, um, but it is actually a great hair growth vitamin, and poor circulation to the scalp can cause hair loss, so um, this is where niacin comes in. Niacin helps regulate uh, blood circulation to the scalp, which it then promotes uh, thicker hair growth. Yeah. All right, now pantothenic acid is a uh, B5 vitamin, and it's actually similar to biotin, and they work hand-in-hand -hand together to really strengthen your hair follicles. So with that being said, all in all, if your hair is just weak, mm -hmm. fragile and weak, or you're experiencing poor blood circulation, then B vitamins are like the go-to or the ones that really kind of help that. All right, so you may be wondering where you can find B vitamins. And again, like we said, a lot of B vitamins, a high concentration of B vitamins uh, mm -hmm. is found in hair vitamins, or you can just take a B complex vitamin. So if you're not into vitamin pill popping or like taking supplements, uh, foods that are rich in vitamin B or have a high concentration of vitamin B are eggs, specifically egg, egg yolk, yolk. Um, tuna, sweet potato, peanuts, Almonds, mushrooms, mushrooms, yeah, all those. So yeah, if you have a deficiency in that uh, area, I'll suggest you might eat those foods, yeah. yeah. All right, so moving right along, we are now at vitamin A, which is kind of tricky. Vitamin A is really tricky because while it can aid in like hair growth and everything and really kind of get your hair to flourish, it can also um, cause hair loss if you take too much of it. Mm -hmm. But before we get into all that, as you all know, hair cannot grow from an unhealthy scalp. So if you are experiencing extremely dry and flaky scalp, uh, you may be experiencing a yes. <laughs> vitamin A deficiency mm -hmm. because vitamin A actually provides sebum to your scalp and sebum is what moisturizes the scalp and hair can grow from like a dry, you know, unhealthy scalp, like we said. So sebum, it just um, creates that moisture barrier for the scalp, for the hair follicles to go, grow through the scalp. All right, now back to the too much consumption part where it gets tricky. Um, this may have changed, but according to research, your body can't have more than 1.5 milligrams of vitamin A per day. So um, I don't know, it's, it's probably easy to overdo it on it. Yeah, so to prevent oh, quote unquote ODing yeah. of vitamin A, vitamin A is found in a lot of supplements, mm -hmm. but they say you know, to prevent all that, try to ingest your vitamin A through foods. And foods that have a high concentration of vitamin A are orange fruits and green vegetables like carrots, mangoes, spinach, and sweet potato too. Yeah. yeah, sweet potato too. Yeah, sweet potato also has loads of vitamin B as well, like we mentioned, but it has loads of vitamin A mm -hmm. as well. So just remember, orange and green. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so to block out any free radical damage in your hair, vitamin C is the perfect vitamin for that. And also C is for collagen. <laughs> and vitamin C actually produces a collagen protein so that your hair can grow. And another thing about vitamin C is that it is an absorbing vitamin. So I know we talk about iron being a really good source for your hair and growth, but vitamin C mm -hmm. actually absorbs that iron that you intake. Mm -hmm. And so that way they work together to really kind of get yeah. that hair growth going. Yeah. In turn, it accelerates the yeah, hair growth. Yeah, it accelerates, makes it yeah. faster. So. so if you want to find uh, foods that are high in vitamin C, I would suggest uh, guavas, strawberries, oh, yeah. um, broccoli, and bell peppers. Those are the top four. So I know that have a high concentration except strawberries. of strawberries. I'm allergic. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she can't X out the strawberries. Look, to be on the floor. <laughs> that have a negative effect. She, it'll grow her lips, not her hair. <laughs> All right, so next we have vitamin D. Now, lack of vitamin D is actually found in, well, it can be found sometimes in people 
who experience alopecia. Um, so like vitamin D is really good to kind of like I guess accelerate new hair, new hair follicles so that new hair can grow. Also research has shown that vitamin D actually can awaken dead or dormant hair mm -hmm. follicles. I'm not sure how that works but it is a lot of people say that vitamin is the vitamin for that. So if you are experiencing like your hair just won't grow like uh, you maybe have damaged follicles well vitamin D can help that. And just like vitamin A, taking too much vitamin D can have a negative impact as well. So it's probably best to like intake it through foods mm -hmm. such as um, like a lot of fatty fish, fatty fish, yeah, like mackerel, mackerel salmon, mm -hmm. swordfish, mm -hmm. yeah, all those. We'll have links below of a high concentration of the foods, mm -hmm. but yeah, those are the top three. Yeah. And lastly, we'll be talking about vitamin E, and vitamin E kind of works like vitamin C as it blocks out uh, any free radical damage. Um, however, with vitamin E, if there is damage, vitamin E can actually repair that. I can attest to that. Yeah. My setback I had when I was in college, <laughs> vitamin E was my savior. Yeah. But more on that later, but still. <laughs> vitamin E is my savior for my skin, too. So. Yeah, I know. Vitamin E is And a lot of people say that's the best hair care vitamin. Yeah. I've seen that as the best hair I, care I vitamin. I think I used to call it hair growth vitamin, but that is because of okay. Yeah. But yeah, because you can, it does have hair growth. Yeah, because this vitamin oil. has an oil. But uh, I think stuff. it works best with like repairing damage mm -hmm. and stuff. Your hair is breaking off because, child. <laughs> When my setback happened, like vitamin E was just there. Like yeah. I said, that is just like, so. Like we said, it can like come in an oil form, which I use. Mm -hmm. But um, oh yeah, because it's a good conditioner for the hair. Like we said, vitamin E. Too, yeah, they have capsules. I use the capsules too. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say you have the capsules. <laughs> yeah, I have the capsules. I use them for my skin. Yeah. But I also um yeah, you can use capsules to either swallow them or you can puncture them, take the oil out, and then I feel like those are the best best way to do it is to puncture them and put them on your skin or like your hair because it is a moisturizer. <laughs> vitamin E is a moisturizer for your hair. So uh, yeah, if you want to use the oil, that's fine. So yeah, if you want to take vitamin E orally, the foods that are high in vitamin E are almonds, um, sunflower seeds, yeah, sunflower seeds, and avocado. Yeah, I can't have avocado. It makes me grow up. But, <laughs> but they're, they're good snack foods. These are like easy to just pop, yeah. you know, take. So we actually have a video on that. Yeah, we do have video. We'll have yeah. a We do have videos on if that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, snack foods that actually make your hair grow. Mm -hmm. We have an entire video on that. We link below, go watch it, cause um, yeah, I do good. <laughs> the almonds are like my thing, so yeah. Alright guys, that is it for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think it's really cool to go in depth through each vitamin, cause a lot of people don't know what each vitamin does. Yeah, it just takes the vitamins. The hair vitamins yeah. and think, oh yeah, I, I'm just gonna get it all, mm -hmm. but they don't know what they lack or yeah. what they're taking too much of, so yeah, I so think it's good to kind of break it down. So if you are experiencing a deficiency, maybe go to your doctor, cause we're not doctors, so mm -hmm. I couldn't really go into in depth deficiency you know stuff or deficiency uh, research but just so, single out that vitamin yeah. and just work on it and mm -hmm. incorporate that to your diet or just into your hair routine with like vitamins if you can yeah so comment below which vitamins you take religiously um, mm -hmm. if you take multivitamins anything if you don't take vitamins at all if you hate taking vitamins let us know how you get your vitamins so um yeah i love commenting with you guys and talking to you guys and our channel is growing so i just want to say thank you guys for watching our yeah. videos and tuning in for our new subscribers hello <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys will stick around and keep sending us video ideas yeah. because now we're doing videos that you guys are requesting and mm -hmm. stuff so keep keep them coming in the comments and stuff and y'all are really enjoying them and we enjoy it we love talking to y'all yeah. so the comments are the best part right mm -hmm. so we love you guys and we'll see you guys next week bye, bye.